Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. We are here in Rochester, Kent, where I live. Good morning. Um, it looks like it's going to be a sunny day later on. I can see a breeze in the air. Feels a bit cooler. Me, I... I I don't I like the warm weather, don't get me wrong, but it does exhaust you. It makes you tired. Alexa Good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1873, Levi Strauss was granted the first patent for blue jeans with copper rivets. Originally designed for miners, they show no signs of going out of style. 88 billion pounds is spent on jeans every year. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. It's 8.39 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 20th of May. Alexa, what's the weather outlook? Currently, in Rochester it's 11 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather, with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 9 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? When does a goldfish get old? When you take away the G. <laughs> Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include English actor Josh O'Connor, American singer slash songwriter and actress Cher, Singaporean politician Go Chok Tong, American actor Timothy Oliphant, and American actor and director Tony Goldwyn. Alexa, how old is Cher? Cher is 78 years old. Gosh, Cher is the same age as my mum. Wow. I'm not feeling, um, I don't know, it's a bit of, I think, too much heat. It does get hot in this flat. I'm just going to water my plants. <clears throat> So I'm in my flat. I haven't been to the co-op because I went yesterday. Um, I very, I rarely go outside with a hood over my head. So I'm not wearing a hood over my head this morning. <laughs> very rarely go out wearing a hood over my head. Sat on the balcony. So yeah, there was a bloke going underneath my balcony and he went, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. It's obviously a young lad, a lot of young lads put hoods over their heads and go into the co op when I'm in there. Uh, again, good morning. So, Monday, uh, last night, I um, came back from walking back. So I sat down and I've been listening to gang stalking videos. And they call people that are gang stalked the chosen ones because people choose to stalk you for a reason. And, and normally, you, you know... <laughs> There isn't a, a, a Max, I didn't realise it was outside. Oh. I, I, I 
I've tried to explain to people that there's more than one stalker. There's one more than one type of stalker. Um, there's this, there's the online stalker, the stalker that's a sad, lonely, pathetic individual that doesn't get out very much, so he decides to just go on the internet and stalk people for no reason whatsoever. So you, you've got that type of individual, they've got nothing else better to do with their time than just go down all social media and up, really try and upset as many people as they can. That's really nasty. So they're not, they're not content until they've upset a load of people and it make, they start laughing and it makes them feel better. So you've got people with facial deformities, people with disfigurements, people that are disabled and they go around picking on people like that and when they've actually made somebody cry and upset somebody it it it, it makes them for some reason feel better i don't understand why but it does you've got a stalker that is stalking you because you've rejected them because they can't take rejection, you've, you've turned around and said, no thank you, I'm not interested, and they can't leave you alone. Um, you've got, like, you know, you've got exes stalking you, you can get exes. I myself, I believe I've got more than one stalker. Whether it's separate individual stalking or I'm being gang stalked, I'm not specifically sure. But I feel that, as I've told the police, I don't know these people. These people that go onto the field. These people that randomly do things like that lad did under the balcony. I don't know who these people are. And obviously they're putting ho hoods over their heads so you can't see their faces. I don't know who these people are. I don't never met them, don't know them. Either they're being told to do that or they're, they're just doing that I don't know but that was right underneath my balcony this morning as I went out to open the door <coughs> and he's got a hood over his head so that's what I get on a day-to-day -day basis but it's more than one of them I could the other day I walked up Corey's Road I got opposite Costa and I'm a woman, and when it's blokes doing it, and you are a small little female, it can be very, very scary and intimidating. There was a group at, of blokes at the top of the road. I don't know that, whether they were connected with each other or something else, but one was sat with his legs wide open, like that. Two others sat on a bench, two blokes talking to each other. One had his legs wide open. And, you know, I turned that Charlie down because I, I'm not interested in him. He's not my type. And what he did to me was disgusting. And I don't care what they get up to. They did it at Go Train. When I um, reported Martin, who sexually assaulted me in his flat uh, and in Go Train, they all started standing outside Go Train. train. Oh, we're going to put somebody's head in a noose. We're going to put someone's head in a noose. They started intimidating because you don't, I don't want to be, I don't sleep around, right? I don't take drugs. I don't smoke. I keep myself to myself. I don't want to get involved in the devil's dirt. I don't want to get involved in the devil's dirt. The devil encourages you to do everything wrong. Smoking, drugs, drinking, dirty, casual sex. And these guys don't want to wear condoms. No, they don't. And you can catch diseases. Right? So I have to be very strong and walk past this on a daily basis just because I won't be part of their filth. I don't want to be part of it. I don't. I, I, I'm clean. I've never felt so, so 
better away from what was going on at Lansdowne Court and other places. 2016, I said, right, to get rid of that individual that was treating me like that. And that was it. This dirty sex stuff I thought should stop. And these people are in jobs, that they're in jobs, right? Go train, they were, st they were supposed to be staff looking after their, their clients, right? They're not. They weren't looking after me. I was assorted in a government building, right? They were using me, toying with me, forcing me to go to places I didn't want to go to to get sexually assaulted by adult males, right, and women were involved in it as well, laughing and giggling, as when I walked on that field with Charlie, there was women walking down, sunglasses, giggling, and he was abusing me on that fucking field. So they, were, they all obviously stick together, and they, they, why wouldn't they? I don't even know these people. They're drunks and alcoholics. I've never, I'm not an alcoholic. I wouldn't say my father was an alcoholic. He drank brandy, he drank whiskey, but he drank at home. He didn't go out to pubs and drink. No, he didn't. He stayed at home. My mum used to go down to the off license and get my father bottles of brandy, bottles of whiskey. He was a hard drinker, but he drank at home. He didn't drink outside or go into pub. I don't drink. They can't turn me into one of them. I cannot tolerate alcohol. I don't want to smoke. I don't take drugs and I don't sleep around. I'm a good person. And they keep trying to turn the good person back. And when I first came down from Gloucestershire, I had everything taken off me. Everything. I didn't even have a proper coat on. I had everything taken away from me. And I was fucking angry. And I had every right to be. So yes, I was. A, I did do things I regret. Max, Max, come here. I did do things I regret because they stole what was mine and I want it fucking back and I want to be compensated and I want justice done and I'm not going to stop. And more of these butt monkeys going down the road <gasps> is going to make me fight for justice. I'm not going to turn around and hide in my flat. I'm not going to give in to their demands. Oh, yesterday. Can I? You've heard it. You heard it. Can I have a picture? Can I have a picture? What do they want photographs for? I'm supposed to be ugly. I'm supposed to be horrible. An old hag. An old boar, an old trout, and they want photos. Why would you want photos of someone that was ugly? The whole simple fact, guys, is that I'm not ugly. I've got something they want. And they want to make me feel ugly so that they can take my my whole persona, my whole makeup, my whole personality and make me feel shitty like their personality. Their personality is shitty. They're horrible. They haven't got anything. That's why they want to squeeze the fucking life out of me. And why would, would a bloke want to copy a woman? Why would a man want to copy me? A bloke. I don't have to prove that I'm a woman. If I was a man, 
I wear the most tight leggings. If I was a bloke, wouldn't my meat and two veg show through the leggings I'm wearing? Really? Honestly, these people are thick. Absolutely mind-boggling stupid. Alexa, LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. Well, good, doesn't it? There will be more than one aircraft. Watch this space as we hear more. Truancy, Jenny in Leeds, seven before nine the time. Jenny, parents of truant children go to jail. Good idea, I reckon. What say you? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Um, I, say, I say no. <laughs> and I think... I think we're asking the wrong question. I think the question is kind of not, you know, why can't parents be bothered or kids be bothered to get their kids to school and why they're not managing to? I think it's the question is about why is our educational system not working for children and young people? Well, because um, they don't want to get... Faced with the choice of getting up at 8 o'clock or 7.30 on a cold November morning, they're going to want to stay in bed. It's well, natural. they might want to stay in bed if you're faced with... The fact that you're going to school, and what going to school means uh, in some cases is that you're kind of, you know, you hear about, especially children at high schools, where there is no time for them in the day to take a breath and, and you know, it's this time. kind of thing. They have break I mean, Of course they have break a, a lot of the time they don't. A lot of the time, uh, especially high school children are faced with choices. Do I queue up? and get some food or do I go to the toilet? And there is not enough of a focus on Well, in all the time I was at school, day, all the time my brothers were at school, all the time my sons were at school, I've never heard of, will I get food or will I go to the toilet today? And, and I've I come know, up I with some brilliant excuses. I think the way things are changing is that... You're telling me that children now have a choice of going to the loo or eating? No, not all the time. No. I, there was stuff that came out not in the news that was... not there anyway. <laughs> well... And there was stuff that came out in the news that was, you know, that is children are facing the decision of whether they queue up because there's queue. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't disbelieve you, but I don't believe it. I don't, I'm not saying I disbelieve you personally. I just don't believe that, Jenny. I think, you know, because I think the issue is, is when I say things about, um, you know, kids about time for play and time for relax, the issue is that it sounds so woolly. It's kind of like, oh, well, that's not important because they're here to learn. But actually, no, 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 that's time to breathe they can, they can and play. rest and, say, and emotional regulation well, in a school day. That's what they it's, do when they get home at 4.30, for the love of God. I tell, you, I'll tell, you, what, I'll tell you, what, some, I'll you what's awaiting these children a few times. Some of them will work where they'll have to get up in the dark, stand in the peeing rain to get a bus to work for someone they despise and earn not enough money. What are we going to do for them then? And it, but I, is this, is this what we're... Well, what you, it's called work. You it's called work, Jenny. I don't know what else you call it. But, but some, you said about, you know, some children, they have to walk an hour and a half to school. That's in other that, parts of the world, yes. Is, 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 is that what we're what? working towards? Oh, we're no. Working towards. What we need to do is appreciate what we provide here. This, 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 children there are parts of the world where they wouldn't be... be kind of... <laughs> That the child might have to go to school and do a lesson they don't like. <laughs> what? No, absolutely. I think I did a lesson I did like, and it's not done me any <laughs> No, but the issue is, the issue is, is that when we are building <laughs> out so. of an education system, and I'm talking from a very young age, it's when I'm we don't do have go ahead. time to play, when we don't have that time to play, to rest, to relax. So I know you're, you're kind of rolling your eyes at me, but honestly... Those are the things that build resilience. No, 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 no. What does being told you don't have to go to school because you don't like double physics is not going to build resilience. Sitting no, through double you're physics. You're looking at it the wrong way round. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way round, honestly. Well, why and can't I, we do you know, it my it way? It sounds like I'm woolly because it's kind it of sounds like, like you're way. woolly. You are woolly, Jenny. <laughs> There, I'm not Woolly Jenny. You are Woolly Jenny. There is substantial... You are relax. as woolly as a woolly sheep on the day it's being shorn. I'm so... Honestly, I'm so... I feel like we need to talk about this more because I think there's a change in mind, it? I love speaking to you, Jenny. Look after yourselves. Thanks for having a sense of humour. Let's say that we agree each other's... respect each other's position. 
and agree to disagree to disagree to part. Jenny, do look after yourself. Thank you so much. I want to get, what have we got? Three, oh, get me yes, one more call at least. Three, two, nine is the time. Sands in Orpington. Um, you work in the NHS. What, what do you do? Five day week, eight till four? That'd be about right? Yeah. It's uh, five days a week and good morning, Nick. Uh, mm -hmm. Five days a week and uh, mainly covering any uh, shortage that uh, comes through the evening. Okay. We look after our 24-7 uh, operation in terms of uh, referrals and the district nursing and uh, okay. the are, are you in a hospital or a clinic or what? what, what? No, it is, it is an uh, office base, so it's uh, office linked base. to a trust, okay. which okay. we have linked uh, into lots of uh, GPs and hospitals. Do you think uh, the NH could be more 24-7, seven days, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 24-7? I would say yes, it should work and it will work, but the problem is with the policies uh, that for the existing workers and the existing people who are already in the NHS, and we're talking on all the levels. So one of the examples is the flexible working request. So in the NHS, they can apply for flexible working requests, that combination of reducing hours, reducing time, or working different times, regardless of their contract, regardless of what they were in the contract, okay. that something can be done every week. And even if it's rejected, you can put another one on another. Is week. that the way to solve this? Uh, no, this is this is uh, existing. This is something happening oh, already, which which exhausted the resources. Okay. All right, Sam, thank you. I'm only finishing because I want to get one more call in on truancy. Sam, thank you, and thanks for the work you do in the NHS. Jennifer's in Muswell Hill. Jennifer, what, do you agree that parents go to prison if their child doesn't go to school? I think it really has to depend on the circumstances. Of course, so of there are so many children who are really struggling to get to school. Oh, yes. it's, not, it's not that they won't go to school, it's that they can't go to school. If they've got special educational needs, the current school system just isn't really working for them. What do you think the percentage of that? I mean, the, the caller with whom we spoke, Guy, there's no way on earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was going through hell. But yeah. what, what do you think the number, I mean, what is that, say 15, 20%? That's 80% of kids who aren't going to school that we should be taking action there. Do you agree? I, I, um, I, don't, I, I don't know the actual percentage, but for, for many parents, the threat of um, a prison sentence or a criminal record is absolutely crippling for them because of, the, you know, they're already struggling with their mental health because their children are really struggling with their mental health. And to try and push a child into school when sometimes teachers are literally having to pull the child off their legs and the child is screaming and then the child ends up with... Um, well, then the child needs the discipline of school, doesn't he? No, it's not that discipline. If it's a mental health issue, if it's special educational needs... Well, where is that child going to get help if it's not through a school? Um, CAMS. Special educational needs. Jennifer, thank you. The music means it's business this morning. We will move on. Thank you. Um, thank you for the work you do. Uh, we'll come back to the story. The biggest NHS scandal in history. The infected blood. Samantha, Robin's brother Tim, is a victim of this. He was given this new blood product called Factor 8. He was told it was safe to take. Uh, it was clearly not. The, the haemophilia actor was told it would make their lives easier. View from the government. Cabinet Office Minister John Glenn. Well, if there's clear evidence and there is a, a pathway to that, then it's obviously something that the government will have to address. I mean, we've got to give these people justice. That's the possibility, of course, of criminal charges. We'll come back to that story after the 9 o'clock news on LBC. So, guys, that was Nick Ferrari on LBC Radio. Nick Ferrari. I read, I listen to LBC Radio a lot. My mother, Jennifer, doesn't listen to LBC radio and she hasn't got a television set. Um, my ex-husband used to call me Jenny. My birth name is Janestra. Not Jennifer, it's Janestra. My mother's called Jennifer. And my mother is not a young woman. She's 78. She's actually the same age as Sher. So she was born in 1946, my mum. So, my ex-husband called me Jenny, and I'm not Jenny, I changed my name to Crystal in 2009, so I'm not Jenny, my mother is called Jennifer, and she's 78, and there is a lot of conspiracy going on and cover-ups, and, you know, I am not Jennifer, okay. <laughs> 